cut your quotes according to your account. A smart money woman don't wait for financial surprises, adult friendship, and that's because it's okay to make mistakes. We move. Okay, like I'm not in my past anymore. It is not meaningless just because it ends. There's a way my husband do it titles it God no go shame us. <laughs> so so when I save like that, like after my number save that there's a special one for God no go shame us. That's the emergency fund, like in case of in case it is. Hello guys and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. On here on this channel we talk about everything, lifestyle, human experience, growth, vlogs marriage relationship talks and so much more anyways without so much let's just jump right into today's video i feel like 20s are really a defining decade which can be a bit of a twister during that 10 years so you are processing so much and constantly exploring who we want to become as we become more independent we learn who we are and what we want we discover different mottos and beliefs that are core to our existence and values I hope that this video helps you rethink what you really want and the best way to go after it. I also hope that this list is the inspiration you didn't even know you were waiting for. And if your 20s have, you know, already come and gone, I hope this helps you make the next decade the best one yet. So basically, we are just going to be, you know, discussing about how to level up naturally, spiritually, socially, mentally, Maritally, physically, and so many other leads you can add to the list. We are all work in progress, and I'm also leveling up in my process. I just have these points or lessons that I've been able to take notes along the way. So the first tip I'm going to be giving, the first point I've really, like, personally even experienced is self-awareness. Knowing and learning who you are, what you, what you value, and why. To be honest, in every journey, self-awareness is key. If you don't know who you are, I don't think you can actually practice any other thing I want to list because you need to be aware of yourself, your values, your do's, your don'ts, what you like, what you don't like. Self-awareness will, will help you to understand what you are good at, of your strengths and your weaknesses, to know where you need to work on and where you can capitalize on that. Oh, this is your strength and you can actually use it to level up and whatever you are be a good one okay the next point for me is discipline intentionality like after being aware of yourself in fact i don't know if that should be the first point or let me say it's kind of related because if, when you're in the journey of being self-aware you have to be intentional about a whole lot of things but then talking about intentionality also we can inculcate discipline into it you have to be deliberate in the affairs of life in your thinking people you relate with the environment you are the things you do how you perceive yourself um, your daily goals you just have to be intentional about a whole lot of things in this life like if you are going to grow you have to be intentional because when your intention is clear, so is the way. Intentionality is key. The third point for me is planning. Like, plan everything. I basically plan everything. Works for me, right? Like the saying goes, to fail, to fail to plan is to plan to fail. You know, your day is a lot more organized when you have already planned it out. Get a diary to write down the things you plan to achieve in a day, in a month. You know, I do have a diary. I'm sure you must have seen that countless of times on this channel. I have a red diary I've been using. In fact, since the beginning of YouTube, I, I specifically dedicated to YouTube. So I plan my content. I have a list of content ideas ideas there that some have not filmed some have, have filmed them and some have not edited some have edited and uploaded you know i have a list of ideas so that in case i don't even have maybe something that i need to do i can just quickly go to my book and like oh okay oh this topic all oh, right and just and just do it so you know planning is very important and aside that you know we talk about resolution resolution but most of the times we talk about this at the beginning of the year. As much as that is good as well, but you don't just leave it to once. Like as much as you eat every day, you do things every day, there are different activities lined up for each day. I think it's important that you plan every day. Aside monthly goals, um, yearly goals, and so many other goals we have for ourselves. It's important that every day we have things lined up that we want. It helps to achieve your goal. Now, personally, I have to do this for every day, like including weekends. So I have line up tasks for the day. Like 
and when planning I su um, per day I suggest doing it a day before probably like the evening or night before the next day so that just in case it's not all perfect sometimes you carry over some tax to the next day so just so you could have an idea of um, you know the undone task then add it up you know maybe be the first thing you do the next day for example even at workplace when I'm leaving work that day I have a list of plans or at most when I get home I have a list of things that I have scheduled for the next day that oh this is what I'm going to do when I get to work the next day because it gives me clarity it makes my head clear like if I don't have to do this sometimes I get to forget what I want to do and it kind of just gives me anxiety when I'm not able to you know achieve those things especially when you miss out on important tasks that you're supposed to do you know if there's a carryover you can always evaluate aside you know forgetting things you get to take off important things out of the list planning is important when you do whenever you plan it's also a way of leveling up because it's like you're in charge you're in control of situation and activities sometimes you might be out of the way but a lot of times you discover that you're able to achieve something you know you're able to get things done then have standard not expectations it's okay to make mistakes we move okay like i'm not in my past anymore let's go let's go it is not meaningless just because it ends create healthy boundaries can we talk about lifestyle without talking about friendship i don't think so pick your friends carefully hmm. i have a whole video about adult friendship and the buhaha and that's goes <laughs> that comes with it okay basically talking about adult friendship we know it can be hard and it can actually be a mixture of so many things and with the general saying that show me your friends and i'll tell you who you are it doesn't have to be that a photocopy of that person right but it goes a long way to show that who we interact with the people we share ideas with relate with affects us whether we like it or yes you know our mentality perception how we, how we see things how we think you know the circles we keep actually go a long way in impacting our lives consciously or unconsciously we get to act like what is around us you know we get to look like what we are you know relating with or who we are relating with so yeah that's been said friendship can be positive i mean you can have your experiences in positive or negative ways we have people that it was true friendship they were able to attain a particular level you know referrals i have a friend here a friend of a friend and stuff like that so friendship it's a whole lot you know on its own but then Having good friendship really speaks a lot and it will really take you far. Like having good people around you, great circles actually brings out great results. Basically, mind the business that pays you. Basically, saying drink water and mind your business, okay? Like, drink your time. <laughs> I kind of feel it's common with maybe ladies, but I don't want to generalize, but. My point is to say that gossip and you know ill talks about people actually do waste time. Like it's time consuming. Twenty four hours is not even enough. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm 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 trying to make it enough for me. I'm trying to you know get the grips of time. This time there is not enough. Like do a lot of things that I want to do within a day, and then sitting down and you know talking about people or yes you can do talks here and there maybe you know celebrity gist or you know oh this gist and that or trying to catch up but it's not to say you deliberately intentionally sit down and you know waste the whole time discussing something that it's not putting money in my pocket okay <laughs> yeah so again this thing is grouped into two right it also goes to say maybe people that like you always thinking about what people think or say about you like there's a group of people that sit down and just talk about people like I don't know I kind of see it as are you jobless or something <laughs> and then people that you know whatever they hear people say about them or how people think about you you take it to art so much like oh I don't know what this person is thinking about me I don't know what this person says about me <laughs> Fam, you don't have any business with that move on okay like it's actually very limiting like it can limit you basically just do you do whatever makes you happy as long as it's not like you're not hurting somebody else in the process like it's not evil thing you're doing you get just do you bro. 
okay so sometimes ago i like i used to be that kind of person that you know think about not like i care about what people say or think about me i really do not care like because i feel that as long as that's not me <laughs> my dear say whatever i want to say okay and even if i maybe do a certain thing like that you feel that you are, you are not cool with and maybe i've moved past that level like i'm no longer in that state like <laughs> we change right people grow people learn things daily and stuff but my 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 own comes from oh because i don't want to hurt people like in the process of maybe choosing myself when maybe i actually so i'm supposed to say no i'm now like thinking ah, i don't know what this person will say about me i don't know what this person will think about me let me like let me try and please them that's the way me i feel when it comes to something like this there was a time ago that my um husband gave me a book to read i don't know if you guys have heard about this book so i'm going to put it on the screen the subtle art of not giving a yeah you can see it because i don't want you to, to pick up on these words and the first time i got that book i'm like okay i don't get it what's going on but i kind of figure out that it's for me actually because i know i can care like about what people say kind of not because i i don't care if you are talking about me at the back i'll be out there like talking ill man and like gossiping i don't care but what i care about is oh i don't want to hurt you so if you ask if you are asking me for something that I should actually choose myself when it comes to that situation i should actually say no i'll be like oh because i don't want to hurt you i don't know what you're going to think or feel that's where i come in i don't know about others but that's my point to say that whichever way it is you need to move past that because it can actually limit you to be honest people associate with success rather than process so in your journey you embrace your process you know because you know that at the end of the day you get success is when success comes then you see people gathering around you like ants that is looking for sugar <laughs> but when you are going through that process nobody gives it you know <laughs> like nobody cares but you that you know what you are pursuing just you know focus okay so i hope you also level up by subscribing to this channel mm -hmm. yes <laughs> then talking about maritally like in terms of relationship you know I just want to say that I know like when it comes to uh, you know finding the right partner whether as a man or as a woman it can be it can be like an appealing task like it can be a very okay, rigorous is the word all right like it can be stressful sometimes because I mean the process of trying to get somebody that is right is like getting something that is fit for you right and then talking about human being it can be a lot but my point there is I'm not, I'm not going to be dwelling on it so much my point is just to say that in the process of you know I'm um, trying to get the right partner do not be obsessed do not be obsessed with finding the right partner whether as a man or as a lady but i, I just feel like you know because the society i'm out on and uh, when you're in your 20s whether you know when you're just in your 20s maybe mid or late or whatever people start doing marriage and marriage and marriage especially on the ladies but my point is focus is focus on your focus on building yourself focus on your purpose just just focus like it's not to say that you shouldn't position yourself but my point is do not obsess so much about it like you become anxious and then you know in that means safe you can even get into, into wrong and so that's just for that aspect right i really do believe self-improvement is a necessity in life's journey then educate yourself do you know that google is free i mean some people are not aware <laughs> some people don't actually know <laughs> you know cultivate a habit of learning invest in yourself you'll be surprised that there are some things that you would like instead of maybe you want to ask and then you google it you will even get more informed than you know the information somebody feeds you with my point is just that you know be versatile be open to learning there are some there are some ways to improve yourself that when you google it you can see a lot of things you know that can make that can improve you and help you level up be committed to investing in yourself and be open to learning you know reading of books is an example perhaps even when i got married i started reading books on relationship marriage you know um character like What's that? What's the name of that book? How to, why you act the way you do? The book that reveals you to yourself. 
you know, there are people that have invested time in making research and they've discovered that, oh, this is why this person is this way. There's, there's even another length of, you know, I think 16 different characters. So I can't remember that um, article I read that aside talking about, you know, four types of character or temperament, it, that, that article also goes more length to talk about, you know, this, this set of people, these are the career, best career choices, opportunities for them. So all of these things, you know, we don't know it all. We get to learn daily. So this is can, these things can, you know, open our eyes to see more. The day I was reading that article, I was like, oh, wow. This person is actually seeing through me like you no know, this is me because across a marriage and um, the partners you can have you know knowing the person that best fits you friendship career so many things we are discussed if i get that if i get the link or you know i'm going to mention it in my description or just put it on the screen it's talking about leveling up financially i'm sure you guys must have seen this movie if you've not seen the movie i'm sure you must have um read the book smart money woman Man. so i watched the movie a long time and it was so educative it was so worth it i've already said i'm going to give review of that video i might as well just inculcate it in this video to be honest because that's one of the things that that brought this video into light basically like how to level up in your 20s or even in your 30s so it's even like 20s and beyond like they shared a lot of tips that were very resourceful and very informative in that you know movie and they are going to really enjoy it i had the list of a lot of things that i made note of on how to level up financially talking about healthy balance between savings and spending cut your quotes according to your account according to your size like don't live life to impress people they don't they hardly even care like live within your means so the time i actually struggled with savings i'm like okay the money i'm collecting is not even enough how would i save and stuff not to not to talk of even investing but they help me share some things sometimes and i've held on to that since the time he said it it's like saying that you can actually save if you want so it doesn't matter the amount like whatever you are collecting even if it's two percent that you are saving from it is something his own belief is like if your salary for three months cannot pay for your one year rent you know some people get to take rent that is even all of these things you save it in bits like your monthly salary you've already like divided it okay this is the portion i'm going to save the portion that is going for you know um feeding the portion that is going for rent you know yes it's a year rent right but you save it like monthly you know so it, it won't get to be like all rushed up like it soon gets to like choke you when the year comes and then the landlord comes knocking like our older generations i feel like most times when it's like the time to parents they will not be rushing oh this that borrow money this of for school fees for example but it's easier for if you are any monthly especially you can you know prioritize your payments and settlements and stuff even if you are not as the money comes it comes in you have plans for it that oh this is where this one is going to this is where this one is going to in order to avoid spending more than you actually earn put your affairs in order financially like your asset emergency funds and so much more another thing they talk about is building your net net worth like aside the you know the resources you have also the circles you have is part of, is part of your net worth you can't easily say ah my friend what do you, what do you think i have this cash and i'm thinking of ideas and then or oh, it's just like gossip you guys do every time multiply your income that's talking about side hustles like you shouldn't rely on one source of income obviously it's not easy in this economy and stuff but if you can please try to multiply your source of income the other video i made i said in that video that there's no downside to it tight also went down right so it's important to diversify our income strengths you know such that when this means you know is shut down or has issues we can always you know use another means to cover up for it emergencies happen life happens track your expenses know what triggers your spending and work for some people it's clothing so for some people it's makeup for me it can be clothing sometimes the other one that triggers me that in it i don't want to say negative way but somehow it's like impromptu spending right is giving like maybe i see this person that is down or something i will not even think i'll just like my default is just I maybe give this person immediately so as much as giving is good you have to apply wisdom to it in that smart money woman there was a particular this i think it's lara i can't remember character that was given to family his brother was there using the money for he was using the money for football or something or one 
game and be one very funny nasty stuff instead of like the money that was supposed to be used to pay his school fees they will give it to him he'll go and spend that it and the african mother will come and be begging and be doing like they're actually plucking that money from the tree no sis you have to do better it's good to do for family but <laughs> you do it with sense basically saying no to spending without intention debt talk about debt like, as much as debt can be a useful tool it's important that you borrow only for assets that is going to appreciate in value and not something that you are borrowing for ashebi it's not going to appreciate in value you can't even wear it to work emergency funds we are still talking of finances they talk about emergency funds like a smart money woman don't wait for financial surprises you save strategically there's a way my husband's do like all this aside this maybe number savings is the titles it god no go shame or savings <laughs> so so when i save like that like after my normal savings like, I there's a special one for god no go shame us that's the emergency fund like in case of in case it's then it's important to have support system i talk about good you know friendship and you know having great circles around about well, investment you know talk about knowing your worth and then you know adding tax to it they also talk about retirement plans like i have a friend that talks about pension you know and you know retirement plans those of why she talk about pensions like building your future while you know stop using your kids as investment and then nigeria is going to move the absorber from the shop absorber to not be shop shop number i would just really love to know your opinions your thoughts on how best you think we can improve ourselves in any decade we are in let me know the points you agree with and the ones you would like to add your experience your thoughts your opinions your comments here in the comment section below. please level up by subscribing to my channel do that now because tomorrow might be too late and kidding tomorrow can be too late but please do that now